so normally in um, computer architecture uh, we can see the computer functions the three important computer functions in computer architecture is data processing data movement and thirdly data storage okay so these are the three important computer functions that will be dealt in computer architecture okay so the data processing will be done by the alu and we will see about the alu instructions and uh, uh, for various different architectures and for the data movement we will use an again an instructions for moving the uh, data from one register to another or uh, from the memory to the register and so on so we will use a uh, different types of instructions in moving the data from one location to other and finally data storage it's an important computer function we will deal with okay so that we will uh, concentrate in memory system mainly we will uh, deal the data storage functions in memory systems okay so there we will see about the different types of memory okay uh, so we will uh, see different types of memory that is uh, Uh, when we see the memory hierarchy when we see the, about the memory hierarchy okay so first the processor will go and check with the whether which is present in the register or not okay so first it will be present in the register or not and if it is not present in the uh, register uh, then we will uh, go and check whether it is present in the cache or not If it is not present in the uh, catch and then it will uh, go and check with the main memory okay if it is not present in the main memory then it will go and check with the secondary memory that is hard disk okay so this is how the processor will go and first check with the register first if it is not present then it will go to the catch okay and if it is if the data which is uh, the processor going to search if it is present in the catch then it is called the catch hit okay if it is not present in the catch then that is the catch miss then it will go and check with the main memory okay and the copy of the data will be present in the catch and the next if it is not present in the uh, main memory then that is the uh, page hit if it is present it is called the page hit if it is not present then it is called the page miss okay and then it will go to the secondary memory okay so why we are using this memory hierarchy means we will talk about the size the size of the register it will be small so the accessing speed it will be good when we uh, use the register itself but the cost per bit is costlier when compared with the cache and main memory and secondary memory okay and coming to the cache the size of the cache which is bigger than register but uh, lesser than main memory okay so it is a small memory and it is uh helpful for us to for fast access and the main memory which is bigger than cache memory so the cost per bit is lesser than cache but it is um smaller than uh secondary memory okay so this is how the cache hierarchy will work okay so mainly we will talk about the cost per bit and we will talk about the accessing speed okay so accessing speed okay so these are the two parameters that will be compared in the memory hierarchy okay so now we will uh, um, deal with how the processor going to uh, use the catch okay so when the catch miss occurs and when the catch hit occurs okay and then between the catch and main memory as i told you the size varies okay so we have to uh, know how the mapping that is between the main memory and catch okay so that is the uh, thing we are going to see in this particular uh portion okay we are going to see uh, the different um, uh, mapping technique okay so you will be uh, very clear when you uh, know about the different uh, mapping technique okay